the shot strikes Collins. Martins has a go, and again. Goodness <laughs> me. How old is Dwight York? But he's put himself in between the ball and the goal and done the job that's necessary. Everybody's at their task here for Sunderland. On by Buck, looking for Amiobi. Chimbonda is a defender. Good strength from Amiobi. He's got the free kick. I think Jim Bonda gets caught wrong side and Andy Obi, as we know, is very big and very powerful. Don't clear their lines. This is a strike from Jeremy. First block, definitely a chest. When Martins has one strike and then another, you watch it, it's York. Bang! Stops him going any further. Danger for Sunderland here. Jeremy over the ball. Looking there, if he doesn't want to put it across the face of goal, there's a big gap for a cutback. Massive stripes in the penalty area. Oh, Jeremy, good one, and it's a good goal. Amiobi with two in two, and Newcastle are level. What a response. To be expected, they weren't going to lie down, they've proven that against Manchester City. Dark free kick for Chimbonda to concede, and you are asking for trouble because they do possess a lot of big guys, Newcastle, and set plays is a definite route to goal for them, as we've just seen. Two players on the far post unmarked. Got to sense the danger. Must sense the danger. On that occasion, they don't, and they pay the price. Quality delivery. Free header. Too easy. Sunderland's lead lasted 10 minutes. No chance there. The Sunderland's second choice goalkeeper. Look what it means to the travelling supporters. Second goal of the season for Shola Amiobi. Now, what is Sunderland's response? What a wonderful first half it's been. Now, Bronk. Whitehead. That's it back from Chimbonda. That's Guthrie mopping up in the left back area. One for Martins. Here's Amiobi. I think he was hoping that Jeremy would be out wide. He wasn't. It was Duff. Just now stalls, doesn't it? The pace has gone out of that break. Martins. Back comes Steve Malbron. They do that well, Sunderland, when Newcastle players get possession. Invariably, it's not one red and white shirt, it's two, it's three. They make life very difficult. That's on forward to take the throw for Newcastle. Amiobi. Tried to pull it back for Martin, has got too much on it. Surely with a player like uh, Amiobi, you mark him behind and in front. Well, that is an interesting uh, development. There's Joey Barton about to make an appearance before half-time. If they're bringing on like for like, it can only be Guthrie or Buck that's struggling. I don't see anyone else really desperately limping out there. Held by Amiobi this time. Chimbonda saying the earlier one was also a foul, which led to the goal. A bit late to... Uh, Start chirping on about that one. Chimbonda gets caught. Well, fighting spirit. That's well, it explains what we were seeing those facials earlier on from Joe Kinnear. Obviously, they got the news that there was a player uh, not quite performing to the full fitness. I do feel that both defences are rather vulnerable, particularly with the conditions. Well, if they don't mark, yes. <laughs> Sound grumpy now, don't they? Again. There's a defender talking. Martins takes the throw himself. Oh, Nicky Buck could be the player. He's had some treatment. I think he's going to be OK to continue. Here, won't want to lose his captain. Basson. Colaccini. His mane is just being battered by the ferocious winds in the northeast. 
at least he hasn't got an Alice Band or a hair clip in, to his credit. Or at least I don't think so. Jim Bonda. Plenty of support up here. Right it down. Oh! And ball. Do you know what? I think he gets pushed into this. I think that's what he's explaining to the referee right now. Pemi Martin scored against Manchester United on the opening day of the season. Newcastle fans thought it was going to be a vintage year for the Nigerian. The injury has got in the way again. I think a lot of things have got in the way for Newcastle's season so far. They're not the only team that's suffering right now in the Premier League. Collins to McCartney. Now York. 